Three, two, one. Three, two. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hi. Welcome to the call today. And uh, hopefully, I have I have my IT specialist, my 14 year old daughter, uh, help us out this morning with this. So hopefully, we're coming in um, the right way instead of everything backwards. And um, listen, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today's call uh, should be a, a little bit shorter call. We're going to um, talk about Ama Vita, and we're going to talk a little bit about free radical damage because it's very important um, that uh, that we under, understand that we have a great product in our balance um, product, and then also in our Amazon Power Blend that deal with free radical uh, free radicals from the inside, and that's important to know because free radical damage is caused both um, internally and externally, your skin being the largest organ in the body and, uh, and therefore is, is exposed to a lot of environmental toxins and a lot of um, sunlight like we have here in Arizona, UV rays, which cause oxidative stress, um, which we covered in, uh, in week two um, when we were talking about the Amazon Power Blend. So anyways, this is week four. We're gonna talk about Ama, Ama Vita today. And um, I'll let Alexis go ahead and do the disclaimer. Okay, I just want to welcome everybody and say that I'm really excited to be here. And health and wellness is our passion. And um, we welcome any questions during the call. And please, if you have any questions after the call, feel free to reach out to us. Um, FDA disclaimer, these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. And we do not claim to prevent, treat, or cure any diseases. And with that being said, I just wanted to talk a little bit about skin um, and say that, you know, that, that um, a lot of different things affect your skin. Your lifestyle is really important, your diet, and your skin is basically a reflection of what's going on inside of you. And us women, you know, we care a lot. I think there's a lot of pressure on us to stay youthful looking. And it's really funny, Paul and I got home from the gym about 45 minutes ago, and I have literally been upstairs getting ready ever since. And he ran up there about five minutes ago, took a quick shower, and he's ready to go. But um, Doesn't take but, me long. Yeah, so us, <laughs> us women really, really take it seriously. And, um, and so uh, there's a lot of things that affect the skin, like the foods you eat. I've got to get back on my sugar soapbox and let you know that sugar is very damaging for the skin. We talked about how sugar is not good for your gastrointestinal tract. We talked about how it um, causes free radical damage when we talked about the Amazon Power Blend. And we talked about how sugar helps you gain fat when we talked about our metabolic burners. And today I'm going to tell you that sugar causes a lot of free radical damage and causes aging on your skin especially. Um, it also breaks down that collagen, and that collagen is the glue that holds our bodies together, and especially our skin, and like Paul mentioned, it's the largest organ of our body, and there's a lot of collagen in the skin. Um, did you wanna say something? I just, I just wanna add to that. Um, collagen is the, the number one protein in the body. It's found you know, in, in the muscle, um, it's in your bone, it's actually in your teeth as well, and so it's really, really important, um, as we discussed the Amavita, and collagen, be, you know, uh, being the, the glue and the elastic that holds your tissue, uh, your connective tissue, everything else together. And, and Alexis, one thing I wanted to point out, you know, we were discussing, um, folks, our, trust me, our kids eat sugar. Sugar is impossible to avoid. But Alexis, you brought up a good point about, you know. Yeah, I didn't know I was uh, going to bring it up. Well, I, I, want you, I, I do want you to bring talk. it up because I, I think it's important for people to know that. Okay. Um, uh, you know, what, kind of what we were talking about. Yeah, is, is I just, a, you know, um, somebody asked me the other day, are, do you let your kids have any desserts? And the answer to that is, um, is of course I do. I, I've never, I've never told my kids, no, you can't have anything, but I've always really tried to make sure that we have a lot of healthy foods at the house. If we go out and they want, you know, hot fudge sundae or some chocolate cake, I've never been like, no, I, I really believe in balance that, you know, you get your protein, your carbohydrates, your fruits, your vegetables, all of that is, is so important. But, um, you know, if, if my kids want to make holiday cookies with white flour and white sugar, then I, I let them because I think those experiences are really important. But I also think um, that it's really important just to show your kids that it's a lifestyle. I My kids have never seen me go on a diet because I've always been the same. I've always been super consistent. Um, 
And another thing is, especially for girls, um, girls get, um, you know, it's so easy for girls to have different eating disorders and try to fit in with the crowd. And, and um, I've never wanted um, my kids to have, you know, issues with food. And so we've raised them, we've raised them pretty normally. We've never told them no. We've just tried to be an example. And um, I, we, our daughter is 20 and we have a daughter that's 14 and I'm so proud of them because they they have just incorporated that healthy lifestyle into their diet and into their lives and um, and their choices are really good I'm super and, proud of them and the reason folks the reason why I bring that up is is as a company um, one vision I look at this company as pace setters in the industry we're very familiar um, with the companies that are that are out there both in the in the direct selling industry and on the other side in, in the industry that I've spent a lot of time as a professional in, um, which is the health and wellness industry. I just actually got back from a um, a, a trade show uh, with, with one of the larger corporations that are out there in Dallas and spent a day out there educating their people on on some other things. But um, we are here at One Vision. We're, we we I feel like we do lead the industry, and it's important that we're all examples and and. The thing that I want to stress is we focus on core health, which starts in the uh, which starts in the gut, and um, and we use functional foods to do that, and and, uh, and products like Amazon Power Blend that are a really powerful free radical scavenger, and have, you know they're loaded with antioxidants. And let's get back on topic to the to the skin because that's what we're here to talk about uh, the mm -hmm. Ama, the Ama Vita and our wonderful. Um, skincare line and yeah and we and again we value your time and so we, we really are gonna try to keep this to 30 minutes I hate to run over um, but getting back to um, diet supplements are really important omega-3s are really important antioxidants are so important and I think it's pretty awesome how one vision has made it so easy to get your antioxidants throughout the day it's in the Amazon power blend the three super fruits it's in the balance. It's even in the metabolic boosters, the Revive, the Revive Hardcore, and the Ignite. And then it's, of course, in our Amavita skincare. Um, again, an, another thing that's going to improve your skin is exercise. We talked last week about how interval training increases testosterone. Well, it also increases human growth hormone. Human growth hormone is super um, important for the skin. Um, Low levels of human growth hormone can lead to saggy skin, droopy eyelids. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is the climate we live in. Here in Arizona, it's very dry. And so um, you, you really need to take into account, um, you know, that it's so important to moisturize your skin and drink a ton of water. And I just wanted to show you something that we do um, that helps me drink a lot of water, but we get this lemonade at Sprouts. It's a natural organic, um, it's not lemonade, it's lemon juice. We get it at Sprouts. And then what I do is I take a big 32 ounce cup, I pour about a quarter cup of this in there, and then I put a couple of spoonfuls of this Cal Stevia. These spoons are super, super tiny and the Cal Stevia is really sweet. A lot of people use Stevia, a lot of people don't like Stevia. A lot of people don't like Stevia because it's bitter. I have used a lot of different stevias, and this Cal Stevia is not bitter at all. It is very good tasting. I use it in baking, and I like to use it on, in like teas and different things like that. But it is not bitter. So I use a couple teaspoons, or a little, not teaspoons, but a little, a couple of spoonfuls of that. Add it to my lemon juice. Fill it up with good filtered water. And you've got a great refreshing drink, and it's so so important, you guys. Water is so important for hydration for your skin. Also, yes. also the uh, lemon lemon is really good for the um, really good for your digestion. It helps aid with digestion. It's a great way to um, just get some flavor to your uh, to your water throughout the day. Um, I find that I can drink a lot more water throughout the day by using that combination. So that's just one thing that we wanted to share. And of course, our viewing um, audience here. the lemon juice, you know, is high in vitamin C, so it's got your antioxidants. Which is great. Um, okay, so your ethnicity um, plays a part in aging skin. Um, black people have more collagen in their skin 
followed by Oriental people, which um, don't have quite as much collagen, but they do have more collagen than white people. So you've got to just you know kind of think about that a little bit and um, try to eat foods that help produce collagen naturally. And guess what that is? That would be your Amazon Power Blend and all of your antioxidants are going to help produce collagen naturally. Um, let's see. So, so basically, aging skin has a lot to do with free radical damage. And free radical damage, sun, pollutants, um, maybe chemicals in your makeup. One thing I try to do is, uh, is you know, buy my makeup from the health food store, buy, buy your makeup from places where they're not going to be putting a lot of chemicals, where things are a little bit more natural. I think that's really important. Um, and of course, uh, you know, you've got to have those uh, antioxidants to combat all of that free radical damage. And um, antioxidants combat the free radical damage by neutralizing them and breaking that chain reaction, thus slowing the accelerating effects they have on aging. So super important. I also um, just wanted to talk about the sun and sunscreen. Now, I'm not a big proponent of sunscreen. I think that going out in the sun and getting a little bit of exposure is really good. And of course, when the sun hits your skin, it helps your body synthesize vitamin D. Vitamin D is an antioxidant, and it's going to help you even further fight against free radical damage. And there's so much information on the internet um, from doctors that say that vitamin D fights against a lot of different cancer. Now, I didn't say that. I'm saying the doctor said that. Um, Let's see. But, so, and, and also something about the sun. Vitamin D deficiency, and I've, I've heard some wonderful um, MDs speak at key, that were keynote mm -hmm. speakers at trade shows that I've been to um, talk about just how important vitamin D is and that it's linked. Um, vitamin D deficiency is linked to over 80 known diseases that we, um, or 80% of the diseases that we suffer from in this country as well, and, and globally uh, also. So sun is very, very good. And, um, but it does cause free radical damage to the skin. You right. need to be a little bit careful. So you don't want to overdo it. So I wanted to talk about sunscreens. Um, if I'm going to be out in the sun for a very long extended period of time, we like to go to my daughter's soccer games. We make sure that I, I make sure I wear my sunscreen. He's not so good about it. Um, or... well, it's, it's very important on those rare days in Arizona where we actually have sun. I mean, we only have sun two or three days out of the year here. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so... I so, um, so, and some people don't have, you know, they, they can't handle the sun as much. Some people are a little bit more sensitive to the sun. So, um, I want to talk about sunscreens. And um, so, if you are sensitive to the sun or if you're going to be out in the sun for an extended period of time or say you're out in the sun at noon, one or two, then you want to think about getting some sunscreen. And um, I really um, try to recommend some healthy sunscreens and going to the health food store. And you need to make sure that sunscreen does not contain oxybenzone, synthetic fragrance, or retinal palmitate. Now, um, retinal... Will you, will you repeat that again? I will. So your sunscreen does not want to contain oxybenzone, synthetic fragrances, or retinal palmitate. Okay. Now, or vitamin A. Um, see, when... When uh, the sun hits, the, when the UVB rays hit that vitamin A, um, it can actually um, increase the sun damage. So you want to stay away from that. It, um, it, I've got in my notes here, it can speed the development of skin lesions and tumors. So your safest choice in sunscreen is something with zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Okay, so with that being said, a good skincare system is very important, and we want to talk about Amavita. Um, the word Amavita means to love life, and um, I feel like the Amavita line is kind of um, kind of an unknown secret because we focus so much on the antioxidants and the metabolic boosters, losing weight, but Amavita is a really important. Um, factor in you know good health and, and uh, core health and, and good lifestyle changes now these like we said these uh, the Amavita skincare has the Kupuasu the Camu Camu and the Asii which are very very important antioxidants um, that they're fruits that are very high in antioxidants plus there's vitamin C in there I want to read really quickly 
a quote from Todd Kirkpatrick, which is one of the developers of this. He is a senior VP and COO of One Vision. When we decide to create Ana Vida skincare products, we assemble the team of the top research scientists and product formulators. When we share a vision of excellence for this line, they love the concept, but were skeptical that they would have the resolve to follow through, through quality and quantity of ingredients that they recommended to achieve this. Historically, other companies don't have the stomach for it. We stayed firm in our resolve to deliver the very best to you. The conclusion of our team is that this line of products is the most effective formulation of active ingredients ever. And so um, Paul is going to talk a little bit about the active ingredients, but I just want to say that um, these natural antioxidants and active ingredients fight against the seven signs of aging, which are fine lines and wrinkles, rough skin, uneven skin tone, skin dullness, visible pores, blotches, age spots, and dryness. And of course, the result is you know, younger, even toned um, looking skin. So Paul's gonna talk about maybe how you use the product and, um, and some of the key ingredients. So I'll, uh, I'll, give, a, I'll give my testimony um, here in a minute, but you know, with, with the current company um, that, that I, I rep a product of theirs, and it's, um, it's, it's a product that's multifaceted, and, and I'm not really here to give them a plug, um, but more so to just explain that um, with, with the line that I represent, we, we are members of A4M, um, not One Vision, but this other company. And, uh, and so we go, to anti, we go to a lot of anti-aging shows, and we go to a lot of day spa shows, and I've been to dozens and dozens over the past seven years, and folks, that that channel is massive. And um, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't spend a lot of time in the booth. I like to roam around and, and, and see if there's opportunities for other business partners out there um, with, with, our, with this particular product and, and uh, as an ingredient possibly in, in their products. And, um, and so I'm, I'm very familiar with the price of skincare lines that are out there in, in the boutique marketplace. And, uh, and they're, they're extremely expensive. So when you can compare the cost of, of mainstream boutique skincare lines compared to our products, which are sold through uh, the direct selling industry, um, I'm, again, Todd and, and Bruce, our CEO, I'm blown away at, at the fact that you guys were able to keep the cost of these products as low as they are. Um, they're extremely high, high quality products that are really at a very affordable price. And I was just at a, um, at a store with Alexis as she was getting some shampoos and conditioners that she likes to shop at. And it's the same stores that, and I believe Charlie's probably on this call. She's a cosmetologist, but um, so is, is a new distributor of ours, Alexis's sister, Tanya, and she's a cosmetologist out in Woodland Hills, California. And she's always getting products for Alexis when she can, but she's, um, these girls go to a specific store, I won't name, uh, I won't mention their name, but when she's there and I happen to be there, I'll always wander over into the skincare section and just pick products up and look at the price and I'm just like blown away. And uh, that's one of the areas that I don't complain. I'm, my wife's got great skin, my children do as well. And when they spend, when they come home with a two or three hundred dollar bill from these stores, I just, you know, kind of grin and bear it. My razor blades cost a lot of money. I get that too, but um, but those products are very, very expensive. So when you compare those to the price, even even the retail price of our of our skincare line, the Amavi. Okay. Are we back on? I'm here. Yeah, okay. I I think we're back on. Yeah, we are. Okay. Wonderful. So we're going to go through some of the ingredients in the Amavita now. I apologize for that technical um, interruption, you guys. So I've brought my notes with me. Um, this is, I'm not a chemist, and this is really kind of above my pay scale, but the one thing that I love to do is research. Um, and I'm, a, I'm a nerd when it comes to that. So I had a lot of fun as I was, as I was looking down the ingredient panel, and I don't want to spend a great deal of time discussing every single uh, ingredient that's in these products, but I just want to go over some of the highlights, some of the future benefits with the main ingredients that I think that are in there. I'm probably going to miss a few, and I uh, apologize for that, but as we circle back around to these items again here in a few weeks and do some follow-up training, um, hopefully I can, you know, I can make up for that, and we can get into some of the other stuff as well. So the first one I want to talk about is the uh, 
is the uh, uh, the Amavita morning and night foaming facial cleanser, and that's this right here. And I'm going to let Alexis hold this. And um, I've got to be honest, I don't use this all the time. I've used it before, but Alexis uses this product religiously, and so do my children. Um, but uh, it's rich in antioxidants, especially vitamin C, which is really, really nice. Obviously, it has our three super fruits in there, the Aussie, the Camu Camu, and the Kupuwasa. So you're getting the great benefits of being able to put those free radical scavengers right on the skin, the surface of the skin itself. And as the matrix of this product blends down into the pores and into the, the wrinkles and cracks and crevices, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's adjust, uh, or, uh, addressing that through the upper layers in the derma. So um, the, the other thing that this has in here, and, and I'm probably going to mispronounce this, but I did some research. It's really cool, but it's sodium olive oil. It almost sounds like olive oil, but it's spelled differently. Uh, cocoa, cocoa oil and amino acid fruit fructicide amino acids fructicide so basically what that is is it's all natural it's a plant-based um, natural foaming agent so they've added that uh, to this product um, to, to help with the emulsification I believe the the, uh, the foaming agent that's in there um, it also has uh, polyglycerol 4 caparate and that's a plant plant-based skin conditioner so as as you're um, stripping just the uh, you know, exfoliating, if you will, or stripping some of the, the skin cells off, it's actually conditioning the skin as well, um, which is really cool. And I will leave it at that with this particular product for the moment. And now we will talk about the age defying serum. And uh, again, this contains the three uh, amazing Amazon superfruits. The one thing that this has in there, and I'm per I, 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 I've heard of. Um, this particular product over the years. I'm fairly familiar with it and I know that it's used in, um, it, it's highly sought after in the cosmetic industry, but that's the uh, the um, milk peptide complex or it's called MPC. And that's a, a registered uh, trademark, the MPC is, but it contains a network of natural signaling molecules um, that are found in milk uh, that, that are in, in their activated form. And what it does is it helps to uh, induce or encourage the production of collagen in the skin. And uh, type one collagen is the most abundant uh, collagen that's in, in connective tissue and in our, in our skin, like we were alluding to earlier, it's the glue that holds our skin together. So it helps promote, um, helps promote the production of that. Um, it also helps uh, increase the elasticity uh, in the skin. Um, you know, Bruce and I were having a slight discussion before, you know, before this and as, as, as we age and as, as, you know, I'm fairly tan right now because I've spent a lot of time in the sun and I'm 53 years old. So as you age that skin uh, and just, you know, as it relaxes, you can see a little bit more wrinkles in there. So it's really important to me. I'm a lot more conscious about this today than I've ever been about just having a really good moisturizer. I use it on my face uh, in particular. Um, because it helps it helps uh, shape and tone the skin, which is really really nice. I use it; it's a great product, and um, I'll continue using it. So, um, the milk peptide complex or MPC is actually designed for mature skin and for pre, uh, the prevention of accelerated skin aging due to oxidative stress um, that's caused by the environment, specifically the sunlight, um, especially this time of year. Uh, also has a, a uh, an ingredient called Easy Alliance, and it's a combination of two compounds. It's a polymer, and it's the an acacia gum. And uh, this, as this polymer matrix spreads out across the surface of the skin, what it does is it, it and as it dries, it actually helps to um, uh, it retracts and stretches the skin, so it just makes it really taut, and it pulls pulls those wrinkles out and smooths those out, makes your skin look a little bit smoother, and gives it a little bit nicer texture. So. Um, the AquaCell is also in here, and that's um, it's a natural compact of, uh, or complex of compounds uh, that contain uh, watermelon rind extract, lentil fruit extract. Again, I'm reading from my notes, so I apologize. I don't have all of this memorized. Uh, unripened apple and apple skin in an um, optimized delivery system. Um, watermelon rind is a natural, uh, the, the rind, um, is one of nature's few uh, materials to contain citrulline. And citrulline is very, very important when it comes to uh, um, to skin care. Um, citrulline is essential to uh, the functioning of uh, filaggrin, 
and which uh, it forms a critical part of the skin's own water-based moisturizing complex. So it helps to naturally moisturize the skin, helps the body to naturally do that without um, other ingredients that pull moisture into the skin. So that's kind of neat. Um, the, uh, the lentil extract contains vitamin B5, which is important for skin health, and uh, trisaccharides. Um, the apple starch is a source of polysaccharides, uh, sodium lactate and sodium PCA. Aquacell naturally hydrates the skin and reduces the flakiness in the skin. And with that, um, we'll just follow that up with uh, the Amavita uh, day and or night day and night rapid age defying moisturizer. And this is the one, folks. This is actually the one that I use the most. Um, out here in Arizona, I'm kind of OCD anyways, but I shower three or four times a day if I'm around the house, um, believe it or not. Um, and I, I'm constantly reapplying this to my skin, probably two or three times a day at least. And I, I love the way it smells, and I love the way uh, I've used some of Alexis's products in the past, and I really, really love this product. Um, it's the only product that I'll ever use, but uh, it's... Um, it does contain the three super fruits, and um, this moisturizer is designed to boost skin barrier function, and uh, meaning its skin, uh, meaning its skin, skin is retaining moisture to prevent water loss. And um, there's a, a list of other ingredients in here, but I want to talk about the phytosin K. Uh, the phytosin K is derived from organic soybeans and it counteracts biological and UV-induced premature aging, um, which we're having a lot of right now around the country with, uh, with, with everyone that's taking advantage of the summer months and this nice warm sunshine. Um, protects the skin from, from UV-induced energy loss and stimulates skin regener regenerative functions. This helps the skin regenerate, helps those cells regenerate and replace. Uh, Helps boost collagen production, and it also improves the firmness and reduces roughness and wrinkle depth. Um, jojoba leaf, we're pretty familiar with that. Um, uh, jojoba has been used uh, specifically by the Native American Indians, Indians throughout antiquity for its medicinal purposes, and it helps repair and rejuvenate the skin. There's a lot of other benefits to that, too, that I won't go into. Um, oh, my goodness. I don't know. We're this having... is crazy. Hopefully you just caught that last one. The jojoba leaf extract, um, it's been known throughout antiquity here, in, uh, specifically in the United States with the Native Americans. Um, throughout antiquity, it's been known to help heal and repair and rejuvenate the skin. And then it's also been used as a tonic for other things as well that we won't get into. Uh, the Dermal RX uh, SRC stimulates skin renewal. As a result, it actively refines and restores skin texture and radiance safely. It does this safely. Natural, uh, natural uh, compounds that are in there. Um, they've also, as I was doing research, I wanted to throw this in there. Um, and there was an independent clinical study that proved that the uh, that proved the su substantial anti wrinkle and skin tightening effectiveness of derma um, of the dermal RX SRC after about 14 to 28 days of use. So um, that is a really cool. Uh, ingredient that's been added to this skincare product and, um, and there's a bunch of others I just don't have the time in, to get into that we wanted to keep this as short as possible and um, hopefully my computer showing that we're caught up but hopefully we're still live here and um, this is a little bit different because last week and the previous weeks we didn't um, we didn't do it like this um, so if we're having some problems out there I really do apologize about that Alexis, um, just as a follow-up, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Yeah, I just want to say that, um, you know, co cosmetologists and estheticians love this product. And I was talking to one of our One Vision distributors, Charlie. She went to a skin care show, and um, and she said that people were so impressed. They, they, they said that it was the best skin product at this show. And I just think One Vision's done such a marvelous job at at taking um, ingredients um, that are just really high quality, just you know the best out there, and then combining them with our super fruits, the Camu Camu, the Kupawasu, and the Asii, and you just get an amazing product with really, really high antioxidant ability and 
throughout this uh, talk, we've just talked about how it's so important to get those antioxidants to fight against that free radical damage. And that's not only inside of the body, but that's outside too. And if you um, just concentrate on taking the antioxidants inside of your body, it's gonna take a while to get to your skin. It'll get there, but it's, it's going to be the last organ to really reap the benefits. Um, when I, I just wanted to say, oh, the other thing, the, the, these uh, containers are ingenious oh, because it doesn't let the oxygen in. And we're talking about antioxidants here and we're talking about fruits. And it's so important that that free radical damage does not get inside the product so that they, um, you know, so that they keep their sense. antioxidant ability. And just real quick, um, let's see what, or what time we have here. 1231. Okay, so um, just real quick, the, the way you use this product is you start with the foaming cleanser, and this is going to um, remove light impurities. And um, right oh, I'm sorry, the foaming cleanser, this is going to um, just remove uh, um, excess oil and impurities and nourish the skin. And then you're going to follow that up with the anti aging serum. Put it around, you know, you can put it around anywhere on your face. I was just um, putting it around my eyes and fine lines, but really it's good just to put it all over your face. That's something I learned. And then you want to follow it up with the moisturizer. And um, the, the internet, um, the Share Your Vision sites and um, you know the Team One Vision sites, they're just full of testimonies on these products. And you know, there's a reason why cosmetologists and estrogens just love these products so much. Um, my sister is new, she's a new One Vision distributor, and she's used a lot of products, and she loves these products. She really loves the smell and just the way that her skin feels after using them. Um, and yeah, did you want to No, say I just, um, you, know, I, you know, we've spent a lot of time in this company talking about uh, core health and weight loss and and you know there's a lot of focus on that and I, I just want to encourage everyone to you know if you're not using these products you really ought to use them um, it's just as important especially for females to look good on the outside as it is for us, us guys tend to focus more on you know on the inside just um, how our muscles look and, and you know the, the waistline and things like that but uh, you know it is important to, to you know, to address skin issues as well. I have a, um, I've mentioned this person, not by name, and uh, that's inten intentional, but this this individual that's a, a world-class athlete that's a very dear friend of mine has been using these products now for, for at least a month, absolutely loves them, and he takes very, very good care of his skin. He's on TV a lot, um, and uh, you know, it's important that he looks good on the outside as well, and he's in incredible physical shape and uses our other products, so. I don't know what I just did. Um, and and I just wanted to um, say, you know, as far as those testimonies, the testimonies I've seen is that it helps with age spots, it helps with sunspots, and that's free radical damage. And so basically you're reversing that free radical damage with these products. I've um, heard, I've seen testimonies about acne. Our 20 year old, she's got a little bit of acne and she says that it's really helping her. And I just wanted to close by saying us women tend to spend a lot of money on skincare and we're so lucky yes, you do. as One Vision distributors to have these products at our disposal. And why not? Why not use these products because they're the best of the best? Why not put that money into your business rather than um, spending it at your local beauty store? I know you women are spending money. Um on skincare products, on cosmetics, and if you're not, if you're a distributor and you're not using these products, you ought to be using them instead of anything else that you may be using or in addition to that. And if you're not and you're on this call, then I encourage you to, to uh, get online and do some research and uh, try these out. And um, I was talking, talking with Bruce, and I don't wanna start a lot of excitement right here, Bruce, but there may be some interesting things coming down the pipeline. Um, as, as far as being able to sample these products out. I know that uh, back in the corporate office, they're working desperately on that. It's pro I'm probably being really premature about this, Bruce. I know you're watching and, and, and I'm probably speaking out of line, uh, but we'll leave it at that. Um, you know what, next week we're gonna, we're gonna circle the wagons like we said we were going to. And Alexis, are we gonna talk about the balance? Or are we gonna, we're gonna talk, talk about, about the, the balance? All right, so we're gonna talk about this amazing product and, and then, uh, you know, these are core products. They deal with 
free, the, the free radical scavengers, the antioxidants, um, there's many benefits to that. We're just not going to talk about that right now. The balance, we've discussed this in the past. So this is a product that we're going to spend a little bit more time on. Um, we're going to peel that onion back, that veneer back a little bit next week and spend just a little bit more time talking about the amazing benefits of this wonderful product and how important uh, gastrointestinal health is. Um, we have our, our, our three metabolic spark plugs here, the Ignite, the Revive, uh, the Revive Hardcore, and the Revive Core products, and we'll spend more time in the future talking about these as well. And um, listen, we appreciate your time today. We appreciate you tuning in. For those that are going to tune in a little bit later and watch the recorded version of this, we sure appreciate your time. And uh, we love One Vision, and we'll be back next week, you guys. And we welcome any of your questions. Thank you so much. Thanks. We'll see ya. Are we still alive? Live? No. I'm not showing we're still alive. Let's